Hello, I'm Drawing Pin, and welcome to our Let's Plays of Motorsport Manager, where we've got our own creator team, Pinwheel Racing, and we're in the GT Challenger series at the moment, which is the lower of the two series, and we're doing pretty good. We're uh, six races in, and we are eighth. I did say tenth to the chairman, so I kind of wish I said eighth, because... I mean, that's looking good, but to be honest, uh, you know, there's still four races left, so uh, who knows? Uh, we could we could slip down, but uh, at the same time, we could easily jump up. There's only like 12 points between us and fifth, so, uh, you know, higher up there we can get, the more money we're going to get. And uh, where were we last time? We were in uh, Black Sea, where, yeah, uh, Lahane had an unfortunate accident, let's put it that way, and so he didn't finish the race. He still got a, scored a point, but, uh, you know, that's that was not good. We... Could have got like, uh, you know, 13th or something, 14th maybe, and uh, got a few more points, which would have really helped out the team championship. But it wasn't to be, so uh, never mind. Anyway, let's get into the mail, and we will check out the news. I think we've had a mistake for a year. Damn, that's really good so far. Surprised about that. Uh, let's talk about the Bill Haynes crash. Where does the light fire? It was a bad mistake. He needs to take a long, hard look at himself. Well, yeah, we're going to say that. Ooh, dear. Yeah, he didn't like that, but to be honest, that's kind of where the fault lies, really. Okay, pit crew. Oh, we've got five new hires. Okay, let's go and just check those out quickly. Uh, well, let's get rid of everybody with a mistake chance, uh, which is you, you, and definitely you. Uh, tires, refuel and fixing. Hello. Oh, hello, though. Tires, rear jack, refuel and fixing. Damn. And he's got 100 uh, stamina. Oh my god. Well, I don't even need to uh, look at you again. We're just going to hire you straight in. I mean, that is a given. Uh, you are definitely knackered and need to be replaced with uh, this guy. This guy's freaking awesome. Wow, that is really good. Um, do you know what? We kind of need to replace a few more, don't we, really? Um, this guy, most definitely uh, fixing. Fixing and tyres. Do we have anybody else here? I kind of like both of these people, and I might get rid of a few of those, a uh, few of those other ones. Yeah, I think we're going to hire you. I think we're going to do that, and we're going to get you. Where are you? Come on. There you go, and put you in. And I think we're going to get rid of. Uh, who do we get rid of? Well, you. Let's get rid of you. It's going to save us five grand a race, so we're going to get rid of you. Hmm. Uh, Kind of want to keep some of these people because we're going to need a few, but at the same time we don't need that many. Uh, front jack is oh, well, actually we've got a few front jack people, but they'd probably be better on the tyres and doing the fixing and stuff. So yeah, we'll keep you because your front jack, uh, your rear jack, uh, but you let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of a few of them. It'll just save us a little bit of money. Um, Oh, I'm just going to get rid of a bunch of them, to be honest. There we go. That's good. And, yeah, there's nobody else to uh, hire. So, I think we've built all the parts, right? Yeah, we've built all the parts. We're probably not going to do anything else. We're just working on uh, the reliability and that of all the components. So, uh, let's move it on and we'll get there. But I don't think we're actually doing anything. We're just waiting for stuff to finish. Okay, yeah, the car repair is now finished. So, let's go over here. Uh, that is going to be, damn, they've managed to do those uh, engines just on the passive tick. Nice. That is good. Um, yeah, I think we're just going to leave that the way it is, and then we'll switch on and do these brakes, get those usable. Uh, once those are done, we'll put uh, we'll put the gearbox in. Hmm. Those are the gearboxes we're using. I think we'll probably throw that gearbox and the illegal gearbox that we're going to use. Oh, hmm. 108 days. Do you know what? We're probably going to put the brakes or something in instead. Gearbox. Yeah, do the gearbox and do that suspension. That's probably what we'll do next on the performance side and just uh, work on those. Uh, we will work on those, but they're not desperate till, uh, you know, uh, till we get to like Beijing or something. Then we really want to start focusing on those uh, few illegal parts that we've got. Uh, so yeah, let's move it on. I'll come back when these are done and I'll chuck in those uh, suspension and uh, gearbox, I think. Get that, get, get, they can get some performance work done. So uh, let's move it on. Okay, right, we've got a dilemma straight away for uh, the bigger picture from Ernie. We rarely speak one-to-one, -one, but from uh, 
little time we've spent together, I could already tell that you're a decent, well-intentioned uh, manager. The press is are spreading some vicious, nonsensical rumours about uh, that the GMA is running a uh, something called an offshore slush fund. Slush fund. Yeah, I'm sure that's just a rumour. Obviously, it's pure nonsense, but I'd greatly appreciate uh, some public support uh, against these claims. Uh, having me as a friend on the boardroom. I mean, ugh. I mean, I'm, I'm going to say no because my one voting power for 10 marketability loss is just awful that is a really bad one it's like one vote power woo it's not really that worth it 10 marketability that's worth a lot so no it doesn't sound too preposterous to me ernie we're gonna go with chairman happiness so there we go right let's move it on and uh okay so here we are we've got a vote for the gma hybrid power mode hmm not sure how I feel about that. So that'll be like the endurance and uh, the uh, head st uh, head start for Hawkins and uh, yeah, a bunch of the other things that we've done. So we've got boost, but we've also got the option to do a hybrid power mode so we can save fuel. Hmm, this rule will benefit uh, teams with a high budget on one of them. Um, I don't know. Uh, I kind of like the hybrid power mode, but. At the same time, I think I'm just going to abstain because I don't really... It's going to cost a lot more money. Yeah, I'm going to say... I'm just going to abstain. If it goes through, great. If it doesn't, I'm not too fussed, to be honest. I'm kind of leaning towards against. How have I got a high budget? Damn, these teams must be really poor because i got no money. So, yeah, okay. Uh, I mean, I'm kind of in favor of voting against to be honest because uh, it's just going to cost a million at the moment we can't afford that yeah later on down the road great but season two paying an extra million that's not good so i'm going to throw a vote against screw it i don't, I don't like it all ah, right it's failed it's oh yeah it only just failed okay fair enough that was interesting it was either that or abstain i don't think i'm really for it it's just going to cost a lot of money I, I like the hybrid power mode it's awesome but uh, it's just going to cost a lot of money and i don't think it's worth it right now oh we've got three scan scan reports we might as well go and check them out uh oh hello hello uh doing fast food commercials for three weeks so again that marketability could be 50 could be could actually be 100 we don't know so I think we'll definitely throw a favourite on him because he's got a really good improvement rate. He's almost finished, but you know he's always maxed out his uh, improving. But not bad. I'll, I'll definitely, if you've got 100 marketability, I'd be interested. So uh, that's a definite uh, maybe. And you are um, improvement rate's decent, but marketing sucks. So no, definitely no. And uh, yeah, Shen. We we kind of know Shen's pretty solid. Um, I kind of don't want to use Shen just because I've used her before but and she's 19 so we are get we'd get to the point where we can't really use it we'll throw a favorite on her because she's always a solid one but I'd kind of like to not use her because we've already used her before but um, uh, you never know we might use her but uh, there we go right let's move it on and we will get to a dilemma or something and here we are we're ready to go off to phoenix now uh, the reliability work was done so i've put the uh, brakes now in for some work that's the only two parts that we're using left uh, and i've put the gearbox and the suspension in as well uh, for some performance work uh, with these guys really high performance 17 and his reliability of 19 uh, we're getting this done really quickly uh, if we get the uh, f level one of the factory and get these two slots get an extra 10 workers in we should be really good for next season to uh, get these parts uh, sorted out really quickly so that's good so I don't think I'm going to build anything else but you never know we may uh, we may build a suspension or something see what we can actually build anyway um, you know try and get something maybe a gearbox or something no I've got a really good one uh, maybe suspension if we can get all of our parts up to like 100 that would be pretty cool but at the same time uh, you know we are spending a lot of money and we need to save some so we might we might build another part but uh, we'll see how we go because uh, this stuff's not going to take that long 33 days it's going to be done by the time we get to beijing uh, we'll be almost at the end of the season though we probably won't uh, fill finish anything else we'll probably just uh, try and work on what we've got because once we've got these are reliable we'll just switch over solely to the performance uh, we've got a few scouting reports as well so we might as well go that well we know makarov is pretty solid um she's going to be expensive though but uh 
we'll, we'll throw a favourite down, but yeah, she is expensive. Uh, she's pretty solid. Um, hmm. Addicted to video games, who isn't? Um, improvement rate's not great, but she has almost finished improving. And marketing's terrible, so no, I don't think so. And Nina, um, oh, she's injured at the moment. What's wrong with her? Black eye, fair enough. Ugh. She's not got much improvement rate. That smoothness is terrible. She's female documentary. Yeah, her marketing's not great. Once she loses that, that's minus 25. So, yeah, she's not going to have great marketability. So, no, I don't think so either. Let's come over here, though. And it's as the overall track. Fair enough. I think it's going to be uh, medium tyres. It's low wear. It's a high. It's medium burn. And it's 38 laps. It's going to be really hot as well. Yeah, I think it's going to be the medium tyres, definitely. Uh, let's fit some parts. Um, brakes we can't do yet. And it's the suspension. Oh, we've already got the suspension fitted. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so, yeah, we're all done. Yeah, we put the suspension on because it wasn't bad, was it? But it wasn't great. So, uh, yeah, that's all done. And uh, gearbox. I feel like I've got something else to fit, but... No. Okay, that's all fine. Well, you'd be unhappy, but uh, I don't really care. You're the reserve driver, man, so uh, calm down. Right, okay, I shall uh, go off and do some practicing, and I'll see everyone back for Q1. Welcome to Phoenix on qualifying day, and we're at Q1, so let's get into it. We had a pretty dry, obviously, practice, because it's Phoenix, so it never really rains here much, so uh, it's, I suspect to be dry all weekend as well. Uh, we had a pretty good, uh, I went with the medium tyre and the race trim and, uh, you know, managed to get that maxed out. We'll go with the uh, sweetest spot. It's not really going to help us out. Uh, and light footed. Don't really use super soft much in this uh, championship. They only use it like two or three times. So a uh, bit of a shame, but still it'll be useful when we actually do use them. Uh, the medium tyre is not really going to be much use in this qualifying session. But uh, I'd say uh, we had a really good setup with you. Managed to get a 99 and I think we've got like a 97 there. So uh, pretty decent. Uh, let's do some weight stripping because we've actually got a bit of weight that we can strip out now. So let's go down to like 85 and then we'll take those down another tick, I think. There we go. Yeah, that's all good. Let's apply that to that car. This is going to get us 165 on the performance. Uh, that's going to be good. And um, once we can get that as well, we can't strip that because that's a spec part. So you can't strip down the spec parts. But once we get the brakes sorted, uh, probably in the next race, uh, we can use those, swap those brakes out because we're still using the, st the start brakes of performance of two. So, uh, you know, once we put those other brakes in and then be able to strip them out of weight, uh, we should be pretty good. We might be able to get up to sort of 200 extra performance, which would be really nice. So that's good. So let's jump into the uh, qualifying now. And we're just going to go straight out because why not? And then we'll uh, get you to go out next. And then we'll uh, probably wait. Uh, we might actually, it's only 4 four seconds, we might be able to do 3 runs, we we may do that. Let's just uh, keep going, okay. Yeah, we're going to struggle on this one though, because this one is very much a speed circuit, and you know, we're just not very fast, so. 1.8 and 2.5 seconds off the leaders, so yeah, we are really slow. <laughs> That's kind of what I expected though. Um... I think we can go again. Let's go again. I really want to get that sponsor target, so I'm willing to. Uh, you know, we've got loads of tyres. We've got like seven sets of those. We're probably not going to use those much in the race because uh, I think that's the tyre to go for for us. Uh, just a bit more durability. So there we go. But we are definitely going to uh, try and get. Uh, I want to get that sponsor target. It's only 100k, but it's still 100k. And, uh, you know, we need all the money we can get at the moment. So let's let them whip round. Hopefully they'll get that set up. It's only like 40, 45 seconds or something to set up. But uh, I'll say I think this track we are going to struggle. And we're going to get lapped as well. Oh, we're both going greens though. 16th. Oh, are they improved? But oh, come on. We are so close. Okay, right, Lahane. Let's get in the pits. Going to leave it a few seconds. Uh, we're going to wait right till the end. Right, there we go. Let's go. You go. Going to give you a few seconds. Then you're going to go. I think Lahane's probably the one that's got the best chance of... Uh, got, wow, look at that. Far has got 10. Damn, and 9.5 on the form. Damn, that is good. Okay, hang on. I'm going too fast here. Uh, greens, greens. Come on, Lahane. Oh, right, we're last. Come on, Lahane. Oh! 
out in Q1. Never mind. That's kind of what I figured, to be honest. We're just, yeah, we're not going to be suited. We're going to kind of get demolished on this track, I think, to be honest. This is not a good track for us, so... Yeah, oh well, you know. Almost, but not quite. And welcome back to Phoenix on race day, where, of course, it's nice and dry. And, yeah, we are at the back and 16th, so... Yeah, there is that. As I say, I think we're going to get demolished on this. We are going to get the curse of uh, being the bl curse of the blue flag. We're going to get lapped a lot, and yeah, there's not much we can do about this one. It's going to be rough, I think. Uh, barring any uh, accidents or anything that might help us out, um, but yeah, I think we're going to struggle on this one. But well, we've got to get through it. So let's go with the medium tires with everybody. We're going to go attack. Oh no, we're actually going to go attack. We're just going to select attack, and we'll go overtake. Right, let's get to it. Has he? I think he's got worse. I don't know how, but I think feel like he's gone worse. He had slightly a bit more of a star, you know, a little bit into the uh, left point of the third star. Anyway, never mind. Uh, we're going to get rid of him at the end of the season, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, they're all locked in. Obviously, it was dry, so, uh, you know, they're all locked into those soft tyres. So we're all going to go. Most people... Uh, yeah, no, pretty much everyone's gone with the mediums. That's kind of what I figured, to be honest. Um... It, it's definitely the tyre to go for, especially for us uh, weaker teams with not very good tyre wear, etc. It's, it's, you know, it's just the one. Come on, Lahane, get through, man. You bounced around in the... There we go, that's fine. Right. We will uh, get ready to hit some boosts, because as soon as the boost is active, pretty well much everyone just hits it. So, Oh, wow, go, Lahane, go, go, go. Damn. Wow, that was good. Did we? Yeah, not everybody unloaded all their battery, but that's fine. Okay, right, let's let's drop that down. We're going to go high, though. Keep the engine on high, but we're going to drop down and try and go as long as we can. I'd like to do two stops, but I think it might be three stops on this, because this is a very high circuit for tyre wear. And, uh, you know, temperatures as well. Look at that, 35 degrees. It's going to go up to 36 as well, so we're going to really struggle. Farrah's doing okay. He's not last, so that's something. Let's just keep this going. Uh, a thirteenth does say is that aim for every time at the moment because uh, that's just our sponsor target. So it's only a hundred k, but it's a hundred k. So you know we want it. Um, Fire is dropping down. He's struggling a little bit, but we're okay. We are okay. These guys are going to pit probably in the next couple of laps. Actually, they're not going to have done many laps at all on those. So even the hot top guys, you know. Well, I suppose Landvik's doing a lot better and Higgins and stuff, but uh, yeah, down here, Engelhart, for instance, and I know he's got really good smoothness, so yeah, obviously the car's not that great. So just struggling, and Farah's popping up the rear, great. Okay. I mean, I don't, I don't want to go too hard on the car as well. We've got to, uh, you know, get through the, uh, get through the race. I think try and go for two stops. Um, so in that case, we kind of want to get to like lap. 15 I want to say but I don't think uh, I don't think Farrah's going to get there yet the top guys are coming in there for soft tyres that's what I figured they'd do yeah you'll be coming in as well because you are really shot with tyres almost gone and yeah you're chasing us but loads of people are in the pits that's all good going to hit this boost button in a second there we go boost down this straight get Farrah to boost down the straight get on the back of those one there we go well done Farrah Actually not last at the moment. Yeah, his tire wear, uh, they're getting really hot. Let's uh, let's go conserve now. Try and, try and conserve them for as long as we can. Uh, maybe even back up. Go medium. Just ease off on the engine slightly. Let's just try and go for as long as we can now. Uh, maybe even back you up actually as well. Try and reduce the temperature. Just try and get a few more laps. If we get to lap 13 or 14, that's kind of what I want to get. Uh, I think Lahane can do it. You know, Lahane can probably get to lap 15, no problem. Um, Farah's going to struggle. So I think that's our best bet, is to try and stop as little as possible. Um, you know, I think that's the only way. Yeah, Landvik's already catching up, cutting his way through. He's on the mediums, though. I think he's sensible going on the medium. I don't really see the point. Uh, let's go there, and you're going to now come in and go back onto that. We'll leave the 
fuel. Yeah, leave the fuel the way it is. I don't think we need to put anything in just yet. And then we'll go a little bit quicker here. I think Lahane's going to go. Wow, look at that. 10 out of 5. Okay, yeah. Lahane's dropping down the uh, the form. But, uh, wow, you've got a really good form. Yeah, you're in the pits. There we are. Getting those uh, fresh boots on. Away you go. That's all good. Hopefully you can get one more lap out of you. I think we can. That's what we want to do. Then we'll go push and we'll go overtake. We don't want to uh, wreck the tyres too much. Uh, I think it'll be okay to go uh, neutral. There we are. Let's get another one. Um, I think we'll just splash an extra. Yeah, splash an extra lap of fuel. We're not really losing anything out there. So, may as well do that. And then uh, you push. Keep pushing for another lap, I think. And now in comes the Hain. Just a splash of fuel. It's not going to take that much longer. There we go. A few seconds, but not a lot. Wow, okay. Uh, I think he's going to lose out to Farah. Okay, right. Well, then that's uh, my mistake. That, that uh, fuel stop was not good. Not good at all. Okay, uh, we haven't boosted. That's a good point. People are in the pits. Yeah, so after the initial pit stop shakedown, we are not doing well. Not doing well at all. And the others will be lapping us very... Oh! For... Oh, come on, man! What the... F... Son of a... Well, there's no point in... Uh... No point in the pit stop. Oh, for God's sake, Farrah, you've... <sighs> yeah, well, there we go. We've just lost out. Everybody's jumping in the pits as well. I don't see the point. We literally just came in, so. <sighs> really? Come on, man. Wow, we've all got to catch up. We're all out of sync here. Yeah, this is a total mess. Some people are miles behind and land. Yeah, this is all a total mess here. Got to catch up to the back. There we go. We've all caught up again. That's good. Ah, oh, man, really? Come on. Right, let's hit it. Let's go. Good times two. Come on, the hey, come on. Don't just drive into the back and stop. That irritates me when you do that. Drive around them. Thank you. There we go. Ah, oh, man, another... Blooming race where we crash again. I was like, come on. Game's determined to screw me out of anything higher than an eighth, I think. Okay, well, that's worked out, but we haven't pitted, so most people have pitted. And we've just really chewed that tyre up, so we've really got to keep an eye on it now. We'll keep going for a little bit longer and then we'll conserve. So, 16 laps to go. If we get another. Uh, yeah, if we get another like eight laps or something, uh, we might go onto the soft tire for the final stint. I think that's what we'll do. Uh, let's just drop it down now, as uh, we're going to run out of fuel if we're not careful. So we just need to keep going. Uh, everyone apart from Lay, you uh, you lost out big time there. Most people actually caught up to the train, I think. So no, actually 19. Yeah, a lot of it. Yeah, no, 19 is lay. Yeah, I think most other people are okay and caught up with the train and uh, didn't get screwed over too much by that safety car. So, yeah, I mean, look at that. Just so fast. Landvik, wow, what happened to you, dude? You were, like, up there leading at one point. The hell? What have you... Okay, I don't know why you took that so cautiously, but there we are. Yeah, we're kind of... Probably a bit of extra fuel might have been nice. Oh well. I uh, wonder if we can just save a bit of fuel and get another lap out. That might be a good idea. Let's do a bit of a boost. Back into 13th. Uh, you're pitting. Yeah, you've got almost no tyre. I don't I totally get that. Yeah, so we're getting into the 10 laps. So I think we could probably safely turn up the tyre. No, we'll leave it like that for now. 
13th. This is kind of where I want to be. 10 laps to go. I'm kind of tempted to go back onto the uh, medium tyre again, to be honest. I think we'll just be able to attack on it a little bit more. Let's come back. We'll do another couple of laps. Hmm. No, do you know what? I'm going to attack now and go. Let's go like that, and then... It's like we could do that, but we're not going to have much tyre left. Uh, let's get the fuel in it first. Uh, eight laps to go. That's way too much fuel. Uh, how's the car looking? It's probably not looking too bad. I think we might put a bit of extra fuel in and run high on the engine modes. Um, I, just, I don't think that's a good tyre for us. Do you know what? Screw it. We'll risk it. We'll risk it. I just don't think we're going to have much of a tyre left at the end, though. That's my issue. No, we're going to... We're going to go with a soft tyre. Let's, let's gamble. Let's gamble it. There we are. We're coming in now. I think a few people... Yeah, a lot of people are going to start making pit stops soon. The trouble is going to be keeping the heat out of this tyre. It's going to be an issue, but... I think, you know, the extra speed boost might just be worth the risk. Yeah, we're getting hit with the old uh, blue flag as well. So that's not going to help us out either. Oh, you are coming in. I like it. Bunch of people in the pits. Someone getting a part fixed. Please be like the engine and everything. Please. Are we going to jump anybody? Yes, we just jumped a few people. Nice. Okay, let's keep, uh, let's keep the engine on high first. Is coming in the pits as well. So we can get past them without a blue flag. That is good. More people are in the pits. We could jump them as well. Yep, there we go. We jumped a few more. Five laps to go. We're going to leave the engine on overtake mode for the moment. Don't want to push the car. Oh, come on. Did he, just, did he do a boost or did he just suddenly get a boost from nowhere? Seems like he got a boost from nowhere, but I don't know. Maybe he didn't. Yeah, there's a bunch of us all bunched together. We're at 7th to... Oh! <laughs> okay, there's a crash. Uh, let's turn the uh, let's turn everything down then. There we go. I had 2.5 on the form. I mean, come on, dude. So, let's just take a bit of heat out of the tyres. Save a bit of fuel. We might as well. There's another crash. Okay, well, that's... Safety car's... Thought it had a few more seconds to go, but it seems to have disappeared. Okay. Well, let's go back, and we're just gonna just gonna push and probably wreck the tire. To be honest, let's see if we can just blast past them. I think we've got the fuel to do it, so we should be okay. Uh, we might be running out of fuel, actually. Let's uh, drop that down. Yeah, we're going to run out of fuel. Although, no, we're not behind, are we? Yeah, we're not behind. So, yeah. Let's keep pushing. Uh, Landvik is going to catch us and overtake us. And there's not a lot we can do about that, I don't think. Oh, boy. Yeah, we've got no, uh, we've got no fuel left. Low fuel. Final lap. I think we're going to have to turn it down. Oh, my God. Oh boy, I've screwed this one up totally. Ah, uh, there we go. We got fuel again. Ow, oh, bollocks! I didn't hit the bloody. Ah, uh, oh, that was a mess. Oh well, I didn't hit the boost then as well. That was a shame. Eleventh, that was good. I think we probably could have got a tenth, maybe. Uh, I kind of screwed that up at the end there. Uh, we did do two stops. Wow, Lanford did four. Well, there we go. We uh, made our sponsor target. We got 11th, and uh, Farah obviously did score a point. But the main issue is, is like Magar. Nicholas didn't do very well, but Magar did. And uh, you know, again, like the last race, we only had uh, one driver really score any decent points, which is going to be hurting our position. I think those uh, further team positions are slipping away, and eighth might be where we get. Um, yeah, drivers' championship. Lane's gone up a little bit. That's okay. Yeah, we're we're slipped away from that now. I think that's. Um, I think that's out of reach now. We're, you know, 20 points off. That really cost us that race. Um, I think these guys scored quite well as well. So, 
yeah, that that's really cost us now. Um, we slipped once, and then that's happened again. You know, we could have got another eight or nine points or something with Farah where he just probably finished around where Lahane was, I think. So we could have got some extra points, but I think we're safe from uh, these guys. So I think eighth is probably where we're going to hit this uh, season. I don't think we're going to get any higher than that, which is a bit of a shame. But uh, you know, we can't afford too many more races like that. If we just that's our second one in a row, we cannot afford another one like that. Okay, right, here we go. Stack games for Farah. Obviously, he's going to be... What the... Oh, for... F Dude, you didn't crash. Ah, for God. A bloody dodgy net. I mean, at least it's not endurance racing where fitness really counts for something. Whereas in this, it doesn't really count for a lot. But, yeah, stack gains are... I'll say your stack gains are terrible anyway, and I get that because uh, you crashed as well. But, damn, what did, you, what did you do? Did you, like, go and help him out of the car or something and wrench your neck? What happened? But, uh... Oh, well, anyway, and uh, yeah, chairman's gone up. Uh, Mark's really went up a little bit as well. Interesting. Okay, I didn't think it would go up because he binned it, but never mind. We did make a sponsor target, so, you know, we did only made 8K, but still, it's 8K, and we didn't lose anything, so that's the main thing. Well, there we go. Three rounds to go, and we've got... Uh, Lahane is injured for, like, eight weeks, isn't it? So... He's going to be back for Todd Della. No, I'd say not that the neck brace uh, affects you that much. It doesn't affect you as much. Whereas fitness in the endurance is a key stat and uh, really would have affected him. But uh, we're not doing that. So it doesn't affect us that much. And yeah, Farah skidded off the uh, track. So yeah, we cannot afford many more of those. We've got three races to go. Got a nice points buffer to these guys, you know, we've got 30 points, 20, uh, 28 points, so got a decent buffer, but, you know, a few more races like that, and it's not going to be good for us, so uh, I really want to hold that eighth. Uh, I think these ones are out of the question now, unless some miracle happens. 20 points to catch these guys up, I just don't think we're going to do that, so I think eighth is where we're going to go, so yeah, I kind of wish I'd said eighth for the chairman, but... There you go, that's always the way with me, so <laughs> there you go. Uh, right, anyway, I think this is where I'm going to call it and end the episode. So if you like that one, please give me a thumbs up, comment with your thoughts down below, subscribe for more, I really do appreciate it. Stay safe out there, everyone, and I'll catch you next time.